part two of review for unit five. Which of the following values does not or is not a solution to the inequality negative seven greater than or equal to four times x minus two? Okay, so there's a couple things that you can do in here, but um, I guess the easiest would be to just plug in these answer choices and keep in mind that we're looking for the not. So I'm looking at just this part. And remember, this is the same calculator, just looks, looks different. Okay, so four times, in this case, the first x is negative one. So negative one minus two. Okay, so that's negative 12. So this is saying, is negative 7 greater than or equal to negative 12? Is that a true statement? Yes, it is, which is not the answer we're looking for. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on the next one. But instead of putting 0, I mean, instead of putting 1, we're going to put 0. And remember, this is just the shortcut of doing it the long way. So once I plugged in 0, my answer came out to be negative 8. <clears throat> so is negative 7 greater than or equal to negative 8? It is, so it's not what we're looking for. So here I'm going to put in 4 times 1 minus 2. That is negative 4. So is negative 7 greater than or equal to negative 4? That's a false statement. So that's the answer that we're looking for. But to show you, or to make sure that I didn't mess up somewhere, I'm going to do the last problem. So that's 8. So negative 7 greater than or equal to 8. That's definitely not. Oh, what did I do? So is there two right answers? Oh, that's where I went wrong. I forgot the negative 4. Oops. Which is why you check your answer, guys. People mess up. I tell you all that all the time. Okay, so that should actually be negative 24. So is negative 20, I'm sorry, is negative 4 greater than or equal to negative 24? That is a true statement. Not what we're looking for. Alright, so again, all we did is we plugged in these answer choices into this x value and we looked for the one that wasn't true. Okay, so looking at number 7. Very similar to number 2 on the front. We're going to distribute, and hopefully this time I don't write anything incorrectly, plus 8. And this one just says to solve, so we're not going to graph, we're not going to do a number line. That's minus 16. So all I've done was distribute. I'm going to subtract 8 to both sides. So negative 8, x is less than 4x minus 24. I'm going to subtract 4x to both sides. So negative 12x is less than negative 24. We have to divide both sides by negative 24. So x, and because we're dividing by a negative, we flip the inequality. And that's a negative 12, not 72. So when we divide that, that's 2. So our answer is 2 less than, I'm sorry, x less than 2. So any number less than 2 would make this statement true. Right. Looking at number 8, is actually doing the same thing that we did on this problem, except we're plugging in x and y. So here, I need you to remember that this is x and y. So 2 is less than or equal to, I'm sorry, greater than or equal to, and I'm going to do the math on my calculator. So 8 minus alpha y equals enter, 4 thirds, and I'm going to multiply it by the x value, which is 5. Okay, that's 4, uh, four thirds 
four thirds in decimal point or in decimal form is one uh, one point three. So is one uh, is two greater than one point three? That is a true statement. So again, on this one, we're looking for the not. So that's not our answer. Okay. So y in this case is four. Still greater than or equal to. I'm going to use my calculator again. Instead of typing it all over again, I'm just going to type in the 4, which is the, the x in this case. So they both happen to be 4. 8 thirds is the same thing as 2.6 repeated. So I'm just going to put 2.7. Is 4 greater than 2.7? That is a true statement. Okay, to number 5. I'm sorry, letter C says that y is 5 and then I'm going to use my calculator and I'm going to put in a 2 in the place of the 4 so 16 thirds is really the same thing as 5.3 so is 5 greater than 5.3 well that's like saying is $5 greater than five dollars and thirty cents it's not so that's our answer and we could do the same thing for the last one but we're not okay so y'all have seen this problem before so you have a gift card that has twenty five dollars to a local shop and b is the balance and n is the the gift card after n lattes so this is your balance. Keep that in mind. And this is the number of lattes. Okay, so what does the x-intercept mean? Well, if you'll remember, the x-intercept is x then 0. So that's this one. This is our x-intercept. So this means after 10 lattes, the balance is $0, or empty if you want. Our y-intercept is here. So what does that mean? So this is our y-intercept. This is our x-intercept. So what does that mean? That means that Your balance is $25 before buying lattes. And what does the slope mean or the rate of change? So the rate of change would be, and this is a good practice. I could do this a different way, but I'm going to do this just to practice with y'all. Stat 0, 2, 4, 6, 10. There was no 4, so let me delete that. And then 25, 20, 10, and 0. Stat over 4. So, according to this, it's negative 0.25, but we don't talk about negative 0.25. So what does it mean for it to be 0.25 or negative 0.25? This is technically the cost of each latte, which is $2.50. So every time you buy it, it's $2.50. Okay, number 11. You gotta get through this quickly to avoid the bell from ringing. Okay, so here, that's your domain. How do I know it's domain? Because it's touching the x-axis. So x started off like this. <clears throat> we have negative 3 and 1. And then your y-intercept goes this direction. So you have 0 and negative 4. So you just draw your lines, tell me what the numbers are, and call it a day. All right, this last problem, and I'm pretty sure the bell's about to ring, so please ignore that bell. 
um, we're going to put in y equals. So I'm going to put in 28 in y1. And in y2, I'm going to type in, instead of the w, I'm going to put an x. So if you all will remember, this is where we go to um, second trace. We're looking for the intersection, so we press 5. Let it graph. So our intersection is 8, 28. So our x is 8. Our y was 28. And remember, we replaced these w's with x's. So this is our answer, x equals 8. And remember, this is a calculated problem, y1 and y2.